three, two, one, and Oasis is our theme, remember? And we've got Bob and Alison, Litley Wilson, Biggie Wilson, I'm going to start the call. Yeah, I've got to, he's so tall, six foot four. You're from Melton Mowbray, you've got through and you've rejected the piece of wood, eh? All right, let's see what it is for you. Have you had any other thoughts about it now? No. no. <laughs> you just hope it's the bin. Let's see what it, bin, yeah. you do. Robert, okay, from the Brown Rogers Connection, brought the piece of wood, said, take a stab, lend an ear, what's in there is in here. Okay. Take a stab, lend an ear, said Robert. So something made of wood, maybe. What's in there is in here. So what's in the first line which could be made of wood? Take a stab, lend an ear. Stab and lend, take the tab from stab, which was followed by L-E from lend. Yes, indeed, Alison, you get table, but not just a table. Take a look at this, here. <laughs> This beautiful stained pine drop-leaf table and six high-backed chairs, together with a traditional pine dresser, make a magnificent setting for the Minton dinner and coffee services which complete the prize. Well, a super prize and, of course, not exactly dusty bin, right? Now we will have item number four of Oasis, and here's a gentleman who's really going to keep you on your toes. The star of that recent West End smash hit, try saying that, Fabulous musical it was. Here's Tim Flavin. <laughs> Fever, you look as though you've got one. You don't want to mop down there, do you, oh, while you're cheers. at it? Thank yeah, you. a very warm routine, but a great one. Hey, listen, as I said in the intro, I saw you actually in on your toes. And you really enjoyed that. Eh? Yeah. Fabulous music. Oh, I had a great time. How, yeah. long did, how long did you run with that? A year and a half. Was it as long as that? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, these folks are not doing too bad. They haven't got right. rid of the bin yet, but uh, <laughs> they're, they're hoping on each one that comes in, you know? Oh. You're going to leave this as the clue? Yes. And that's uh, a pick. A pick. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> and what about the rhyme, Tim? What's the that? rhyme? The rhyme is. Cure the fever, stop the rot, no justice here, if this you've got. Mm. Mm. Oh, says everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Flavin. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Tim. All the best. Good luck.
Oh. Well. <laughs> well, uh, an ooh came from back here, but what happened here? If you can hear one at the stone or the boot again, which would you like to hear? Uh, the boot, I think. You want to hear the boot again? Yes, okay. Item number two, this was, came in from Andrew O'Connor. An old boot, he said, not so dusty, if you win, you'll see it shining like a pin. So, now you have three on the table, one more has to go. Who, what, love, what was that? No, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We all want to hear what you've got to say. Got to go to the axe. What do you think, Bob? I think we'll get rid of that one. You want to get rid of the pick? Yeah. Why the pick? Because you don't like the look of it? <laughs> no, because it says, because it's like a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want something, you axe it, don't you? So yes. Could be to get rid and you of said it. ooh about the pick, so you don't mind if it goes, do you? No. Oh, no, they're quite happy about it. So it's going, is it? Yes. Right, OK, then, Bob, you're going to reject the pick, which came in just now from Tim Flavin, a big sign there. <laughs> OK, he said, cure the fever, stop the rot. No justice here if this you've got. What have you got? Let's have a look. OK. Cure the fever, stop the rot. To cure a fever, you need to lower temperatures. If you lower temperatures far enough, you stop things rotting. Perhaps the pick is a nice pick. No justice here if this you've got. Justice could mean just ice, but not just ice. Yes, take a look at this here. Is it a fridge? Is it a freezer? No, it's a food conservation centre. With this four-door cabinet, you decide what you want in each compartment. Fridge, freezer, chill cabinet, or cellar for wine storage. At the flick of a switch, the fridge and the cellar become a fresh food larder, and the centre also contains a built-in drinks dispenser. Yes. Oh, you wish you'd have got that, don't you, eh? Oh, they want to go through that right now. They want a party right here, they want. That wasn't all, though, do you know? Because we'd also arrange if you'd have won that enough gift vouchers for you to fill the whole thing several times over again. What a fabulous prize. Thank you, Caroline. It's been rejected. It has to go. Oh, dear. Again, not the dreaded dusty bin, huh? Oh, dear. We're going to go on right now back to Oasis and have our final item. And here's a, a group, they are my favourite group, here with their latest release. Will you please welcome Kadja? <laughs>
Well, I'm Nick. How are you? Good. Nice. I'm afraid of you. Oh, are you? Well, don't no, worry. no, no. That's I your, don't bite. That's your latest record, eh? That's, that's right. Good luck with that. I know you're doing an album soon. Yes. Oh, good. Lovely. Well, it's good to have you here. They're trying to get rid of you-know-who, and good they're luck. wondering what you're bringing for them this time as a clue. What is it, Nick? Well, it's a... Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a fly. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice one. Ooh. But you're glad it's here. And what about the rhyme? What's that say for them? Well, make, make something out of this. Uh, <laughs> if, the, if King and Castle be one night, this is a hit for you on sight. And that's the very last one you're going to hear. Nick, thank you very much. Catch it. Thank you, Nick. Bye-bye. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You get five under the spin, don't you? It's got a B one night as well, which is B-I-N. If it was oh. night spelled with an N. B well, one, that's five. the last one that comes in. You've just heard it. And it flies around yeah. the dustbin, don't you? Yeah. And if it's uh, the song was I'm Afraid, afraid of, of You as well. Mm -hmm. I'm frightened of the bin. Oh, dear. You're frightened <laughs> of yeah. Especially when there's the last three on the table. Well, you can hear one of the other two again, remember? To refresh your memory on the... Please. Well, yes, um, which one do you want to hear? The stone or the boot? It's up to you. Uh, we heard the boot last time, didn't we? Yeah, so we heard the stone. stone. Do you want to hear the stone again? Yes, okay. For making up your mind. Okay. The stone came in item number three from Helen Goldzer. She said, not green, though so-called, without fail... Don't throw it in the army jail. So, there you are. That's the last three on the table. And we do know, of course, that Dusty Bin is here now. One of these final three. So, what one's going this time? They probably need a bit of help. Any idea? <laughs> you having a good chat? No? No idea at all? Fly. No? Yeah, I think the fly. Yes, huh? we'll, we'll, get we'll get rid of the fly. Yeah. Want to get rid of the fly? Yeah? yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Okay. <laughs> yeah? It's very unanimous back here, but oh, what about good. you, sir? Yeah, yeah, sir. We'll be unanimous as well. Unanimous, yeah. you want to get rid of the fly. You don't like the... I mean, it's a pretty horrible-looking thing, isn't it? It Ooh, is. Look at that. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> so that's going to be rejected, yes? Yes. OK, yep. the fly being rejected come in item number five from Nick of Cadger. He said, if the king and the castle be one night, this is a hit with you on sight. OK? So. Now then, having another thought, I've got it open now. You've rejected it. <laughs> yeah, it's too late, I'm afraid. Okay, Nick brought you in the fly and said if the king and the castle be one knight, king, knight and castle, spelt with a K, are all pieces of chess. A number of songs from the musical Chess have been hits. This is a hit with you on sight. So we're looking for a hit from chess. Now, one of them started one night spelt without a K. One night in... Do you remember that? One night in Bangkok. It's a 3-2-1 holiday to Bangkok. First, a scheduled flight to Bangkok, the heart of Thailand. The charm and colour of this fabulous city is breathtaking. From the grace of the traditional dancers to the crowded waterways and the floating markets, there is so much to do and to see. You can visit the walled grounds of the Grand Palace, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha and its 160-foot gold statue. Try your hand or foot at Thai boxing. And then, as a complete contrast, finish your holiday at Pattaya, now one of the leading beach resorts in the world. Oh, Alison, I saw you shaking your head. You'd have loved that. I would. Yeah, you too. Never been there, huh? I oh, I've been there for a couple of days. A sensational place, a wonderful holiday. You haven't booked your holiday either, have you? Oh, dear. I'll tell you what, for that, you can have this fly out. Mm. What a shame. I'm afraid it's been rejected, so it has to go. And we're at the moment that, yes, you dread, and I dread, and everybody at home dreads, of course, the final two on the table. And you've really got to start thinking about these, OK? Because we know one of them's the bin. Good luck to you. I'll refresh your memory on these. The old boot, of course, came in from Andrew O'Connor. Item number two, and said, Not so dusty if you win, you'll see it shining like a pin. OK? And your bin would be shiny, wouldn't it? Yep. And the stone came in, item number three, from Helen Gelser. She said, Not green, though so-called without fail, don't throw it in the army jail. So, uh, you need a bit of help from everybody here. No. <laughs> oh, listen to this. There's war going on out here. What do you reckon there, loves? You with Dan? Are we Dan? No, not after that fly, she's Dan. Well, Bob and Alison, it's up to you. What do you think? I don't know. No, you, don't. No. you don't know, I know. It's so easy when you're sitting at home. We do know one of them's the bin, of course. That's the thing. So whatever you, you know, if you get rid of that, whatever it is, you get a lovely prize. Dusty if you win. Oh, dear. I wouldn't want this one. A dustbin wouldn't be dusty if you went a new one, would it? No. I don't know. Anything could happen here. As I say, it's not easy when you're standing here trying to work it out. You choose. You choose. What do you reckon, folks? Any idea? The boot? What, the boot? Keep? You mean? Want to keep? Sling it out? Oh. Oh, dear. Listen to this. What do you think? 
Rid of the stone. Oh, the stone, the boot. Here, listen, it's up to you. Oh, you're, you're the two people here. You decide. You decide. It's up to you. Oh, you decide. Go on. Oh, gosh. It's not easy. It really stone. is. Stone. You want to get rid of the stone? Do I? Well, you say, I don't know. Don't look at me. It's up to you. The boss says get rid of the stone. What do you say, Alison? Is I'll that okay? i with him. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> you don't mind, Bob? Yeah, you're going to go along with that? You see, it's awful when you get to the final two on the table. So, the stone going to go or the boot? What do you say? Stone. He said it twice, yes? Yeah. Oh, is that all right, Alison? Oh, yeah. yeah? Yes. Okay? Yes, okay. All right, then. The stone is being rejected. And the boot. Huh? Oh. The boot. Change oh. my boot. Can I change my mind? Oh. No one's ever done that. I haven't owned it yet, so uh, I can do that. You're going to have a stand-up war here, are you? you no. Know? Okay. It's no. up to you. No. Huh? No what? You'll have the stone. But I can blame him. But I can blame him. Just a moment. He's going to have the stone. You mean you're going to give it to him on the chops? I might what, do. You want to keep the stone? And no. you want to, what do you want yeah. to do? He says reject the stone so I can hit him with it. So if that's it's wrong. okay. You're going yeah. to hit him with it if it's wrong. So yeah. you're definitely going to reject the stone. Yeah. That's okay? It's all right, isn't it? We're going to get that now. We've rejected the stone. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right then, Bob. We're going to get it ready. Oh, you, <laughs> get it ready. Good luck to you. Here we are. Yeah. Item number three came in from Helen Geltzer. Not green, though, so called without fail. Don't throw it in the army jail. Helen brought you the stone and said, not green, though so-called without fail. So we're looking for something that is, that's normally called green, though it isn't. Don't throw it in the army jail. If the don't throw it refers to the stone, well, there's one category of people who shouldn't throw stones. They're the ones who live in another name for army jails, glass houses, normally referred to as greenhouses. Take a look at this. This hexagonal greenhouse is made from western red cedar wood and comes complete with shelving, a capillary watering system, cedar blinds, heating and aluminium roof blinds. To complete the prize, this range of matching garden furniture comprising chairs, table and bench seat. Oh dear. Oh, Alison. So, you want to do it now? There's the stone or will you do it a bit later on? Oh, no, don't do it. It's not that easy. Nobody wanted that one, but I'm afraid you know what that means, of course. That is the last fabulous prize. That's the last one on the table. So, of course, it is dusty bin. Off you go. Let's go and get it. Let's get your dustbin. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Stand there and have a look at this. Oh, I know how you feel right now. <laughs> Andrew brought you the old boot. Not so dusty if you win. You'll see it shining like a pin. Now then, how did they get to that? Not so dusty if you win. That sounds as though this might be a good prize. Some luck, eh? Not so dusty. But don't forget, if you win dusty, you don't actually get him. Well, of course you don't. You'll see it shining like a pin. Well, the galvanized bin is going to be shining like a pin. If you left dusty on the table, that's the place for dusty bin. But it's not as bad as all that, remember? You've got to this part of the show, and a lot of people have won the bin, you know. And I always go back to the very first time it was won, and it was won by Clodagh Rogers and Terry Wogan. <laughs> Money you won in the quiz, of course, which Linda Lee has for you. How much was it, Linda? Three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds, folks. Was very good. Oh yeah. And of course, the ceramic dusty bin that I know you did want, Alison. Bob, you've been a smashing sport. Thanks very much, Alison. Thank you. All the best to everybody in Melton Mowbray. Give them a round of applause, folks. They've been super couple here. <laughs> we all feel for you tonight. A super show, as always. You can't win all the time, but I think you'll agree it's been a pretty good night. I'd like to thank all of our people on our show, our contestants, our guests, most of all you. Take care. Have a good week. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Tomorrow at 8.45, more All-Star Secrets are revealed.